Okay, uh, today is Monday. Monday. Yes, it is Monday. September 11. So, um, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what happened on Saturday. Uh, I got the uh, first video that I make, a small video on Saturday. I think, <clears throat> I think it was around 7.30 or 8. <clears throat> I got a call from a customer. Uh, he will say he was, <clears throat> I mean, he was desperate for air conditioning. He has some kind of problem. I think it was the capacitor because we checked the capacitor and that was, you know, it was blow up. So, and somebody call and tell him, hey, I got a friend who do air conditioning. You know, he knows air conditioning. So, remember sometime <clears throat> your friend, your cousin might not know much. So if you you take it you take a lot of risk to uh, to call somebody who are maybe going to charge you cheaper that you think uh, you know some other company is going to charge you service call and all the stuff and you don't want to pay that so you call your neighbor so that's what happened with him you know he he's got a I think his his wife uh, sister have somebody knows about air conditioning okay. And give him the number. He said, I call and you know, I need to get my AC fixed. So he said, they, I mean, they have a big story, you know, of which I can record it. But sometimes I don't, you know, I don't want to ask it to the customer. I don't want to make it feel uncomfortable. So I just, I just doing the job pretty much and record it a little bit as possible. I mean, it was possible. And uh, so he said he called these people. So they, this guy show up in there, and soon as he, <clears throat> soon as he see the condenser, the condenser is not that old. Condenser was probably 10, 12 years old, something like that. I forgot what was the, was the uh, the age on that condenser, but it was working good. And he said that, that guy, as soon as he look at it, the condenser, he said, "Oh, the compressor is bad." And because this guy, he knows a little bit about air conditioning. He asked him, how do you know? You're not even open. You're not even looking at anything. He said, um, I knew I have a lot of experience. And I've been working in air conditioning business for seven years. Which is, you know, a lot of people, they kind of, you know, if they're like two years, they're going to say five, six, seven years. Who knows how much, you know. Uh, uh, and then, man, this guy is stuck in the middle of the road. And then, um, <coughs> oh, I forgot. I just I thought I was gonna, you know, this guy who was in the middle of the road. Okay. Um, so okay, after he was saying the compressor is bad and they, they watching him, they they know, you know, they watching what he was doing it. He say he will start it like I think it's these, you know, he's going to the to the breaker backs, to the disconnected backs on the AC and start jumping the wire together. And then he say it might be on the condenser, let me go look at it. But he left he disconnected disconnected back. So I, I think for sure he just did it on purpose, you know. Because he's disconnected all the wire from the disconnected backs, we jump it together, and then he go back into the compressor, jump it, another wire he say he says he saw him put it like a bridge, you know, like another wire. That I think I know what he was doing, it, you know, and that's the, what happened with the compressor. That's like the most common uh, problems when you switch the wire. Uh, I don't know if I wanted to tell it that way. Other people may be doing this kind of stuff, you know, learning from it. But it is easy to burn it up a compressor if you're running. <laughs> one wire to the wrong spot and I'm not talking about 240 volt I'm talking about something out 240 you can switch it over there's no problem with it but there's another wire if you switch it to a different spot it's going to do the same thing that he told me so after he make a jumper and connect the wires together on the disconnected backs he's going back into the main breaker back and flip the compressor uh, the breaker on he said that as soon as he flipped the breaker on, big explosion gone, 
and a lot of smoke coming out. So that smoke is, you know, a big hole into the side of the compressor. So, and then he just go outside and the guy say, what's going on? That, you know, the homeowner's asking, what's going on? He say, I told you the compressor is not good. I mean, <laughs> after he did that one, I mean, it's not, that compressor is not gonna run. Completely, all the oil, the freon, everything go. And then he say, but I mean, it was it was working good. I think you did something wrong with the wire. And so, and then he just started to put the wires back together real quick. And he, and he said, that guy told him, <clears throat> you not owe me anything. <clears throat> I'm, you know, I'm leaving. He said, you don't have to pay me, I'm leaving. So he just grabbed his tool, put it back to where the wire, removed the jumper, the one he put it in. And then he left. And this guy, he just desperate, you know. Uh, he just called a lot. Of, he said he, he called a lot of companies, and nobody wants to go because it was it was around 5:30 or 6, I think it was, in the night. I mean, they uh, late in the evening. And until he called me, he said, "What can I do, my brother? I need an air conditioner right now." Because I'm, I'm, I wanted to have, I had a key, then I don't want it to have no air condition. I said, well, let me see what I can do. And I will start calling people, you know, the, uh, my son, he searched where the unit, the, you know, the size of the unit he have, who have it, because he got access to the inventory, to the, to the warehouse. So he knows where the, which warehouse carried the unit that we needed. We start calling the people over there like uh, uh, we have an emergency numbers. So and then we call them, hey, can you open the store? They say yes. I know you know we're gonna charge you for that, but we can go and open it. So I call this guy and I say, hey, it's gonna cost you this much for opening the store. Do you want me to do it? He say, yeah, I need an AC. Please do it. I said okay. We ordered it. The guy show up around I think it's like an hour later. We grab the equipment, my son, he grabbed the equipment, and I go into the job to start to pull the whole unit out. And the next thing, I mean, it was what you see on the first video uh, the, we recorded that day, uh, was Saturday, Saturday night around almost 8 o'clock, I think it was, when my son showed up over there. They, they, they told him somewhere in there. Um, because the bad thing is, you know, it was it was from my from my job. That job it was an, an hour and twenty minutes away, so it's kind of hard to put everything together and then run in an hour and twenty minutes and then do all the job. So we finished by around almost ten o'clock, ten or eleven somewhere in there. Uh, <clears throat> but we got the AC going that day, so it was very very uh, happy with you know with getting the AC too quickly and uh, so this is kind of experience you know that I've been seeing like I say I see these every day that's why I'm warning everybody my video like I say is not to teach in somebody else who does air conditioning to uh, how did you learn I mean they can learn them from from our video too but my main goal is to teach a homeowner to be careful and what you're looking for, you know, before somebody else can do this kind of stuff to you guys. Because if this guy knows a little bit about air conditioning, he will not let it do this, you know. He would should be say, hey, stop right now. You know, I want to you quit doing this. Uh, has to call somebody else, you know. But he let it do all the stuff. And he knows, he say, he just say like, might be this, might be that. Let me jump this and then, and then he just make a big big hole into the compressor so that's that's my main goal teaching a homeowner you know what they're looking for and and what can it's kind of normal uh, normal way to check everything or if it does not normal way if you see it it's not normal just stop everybody you know just tell hey quit doing it you know I, I see that you're gonna mess up the whole unit because this unit like I say it was working was looking good unit uh, but now it is completely gone because this guy turned it up the compressor. So be careful up there. Uh, making sure you call somebody who have uh, license, license and insurance and all that stuff. 
because if it, well, let's say if that was me doing this, uh, my insurance can pay for it, you know, or I, you know, if, you know, I know when I do something, I'm responsible for it. So, you know, if it was me doing, you know, blow out the compressor, I could just buy another unit, put it in and forget about it. If it's not, you know, if I, let's say I don't want it to do it, you can just call my insurance. You know, we got it, uh, two million dollars insurance. So they, can, you, 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 as a homeowner, you can say, okay, I'm gonna call you insurance, and you can, uh, you know, uh, let's say uh, another company doesn't want to give you his insurance, you can just search, it, and then you can just find it who is being insured with, and then you can just make a claim and get your money back. You know, or get your unit replaced if somebody else doing that kind of stuff. So that's why I just telling telling everybody, be careful, be careful right there. And there's a lot of tricky people doing it. It's easy to burn it up a motor. I don't know. I want to know. I want you guys see if you can leave me a, a comments to see if you want me to reveal how you can burn it up the compressor like like this in one less than one second. You know, less than one second, you can burn it up compressor uh, uh, with switching the wire the way I was telling you. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to say, you know, like to these other people know and they can start doing this stuff. And that's not that's not right. You know, that's not right. That's why I want to kind of hold on to explain how to burn it up quickly. But uh, that's it, guys. I just wanted to let you know. Be careful up there. There's a lot of tricky people doing, doing AC business, and don't fall into those people who say I'm going a little bit cheaper, you know. And I have a 20 years experience, you know, making sure they are licensed and everything. Uh, I didn't say there's, a, you know, everybody like that, but you know, you see once in a while you see these people like that. So be careful, and we we'll see you on the next one. This one right now. Uh, we doing this and it's an emergency. They call us by around ¿qué hora? Las seis de las cinco de la tarde. Seis. About six o'clock in the evening. Uh, on Saturday, you know. Uh, and uh, he was saying that he's got another guy who's supposed to be doing air conditioning. And that guy uh, move the wires and put the harm wire or the starter for the compressor to the 110 volt and blew up see right there that plug right there you know as soon as he turned it on the power that plug right there so as soon as he turned it on the power because he's got the blue wire into the 110 volt when that one needed like a 70 microfarad uh, as soon as he turned it on the power blew out the whole unit so and then he just he said, he said, he's been telling me, you know, like, as uh, soon as he blew on the unit, he just grabbed his tool and run. He just left and said, you don't have to pay me anything. I'm leaving. So he called me around 5 o'clock, like, emergency. I need to get it right now. I said, let me do it. Let me see if I can find somebody to open an uh, air conditioning store. And then my son, he's going and trying to call in and everything. So until we get somebody to open the store for, for us. And now we do this installation. And so that's what I'm telling everybody. Be careful who come into your house because there's a lot of people saying, I know how to do it, but they don't know how to do anything. So be careful up there. You know, I just wanted to load it up this uh, small video to warning everybody. Warning, don't let people who doesn't maybe have a just one year experience or just started doing this kind of business you're gonna get this kind of problems right here. The unit was working just fine. They just needed like a maintenance. But now they replace the whole unit because somebody was burning it up, don't know what they are doing. So be careful, you know, and I wanna say thanks to the guy. Cause I got, I got one job to done, you know, to needed to be working on right now. So I was, I was just sleeping in my house, but you know, thanks God and thank to him. Now we got it, we're doing something. So, be careful up there <clears throat> and see we got this one little bitty unit and the difference you see the how tall the unit is it's, it's a way way different so this one is like what 
two and a half, three foot maybe. This one is almost, see the difference from his, pone la pata donde estaba la alceña de la cosa esa? Like from there, and see the other one, it's almost one foot bigger. So if this is uh, this is quality unit, it's a big stuff, you know, a mana stuff. So it's not gonna be like, little bitty like this, okay? So as you see it, this is a newer unit going in. So warning everybody, don't let any people who just started to do this business to come into your house, because you're gonna end up buying a whole new unit.